What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Ash Grey version. Last episode we took out the Pewter City Gym Leader Brock and apparently now he is accompanying us on our journey even though there's really no way to tell. I, I don't know if it's like Final Fantasy where all your your teammates or party or whatever you call it are like inside you and then in certain times they just show up kind of. Maybe that's kind of how this is or maybe Brock will just you know teleport himself all the way from wherever he is right now onto wherever he needs to be but apparently he now joined us on our quest to become Pokemon Masters because he wants to be a master breeder of Pokemon even though in like the first generation or the first anime I don't know he, he starts mentioning it a lot more towards later like especially fourth gen I remember Brock would be all about the making them poppins and I don't even know he was basically their handmaid yep Ash and, and Dawn and then Brock the handmaid that was basically how it was like and then of course we had Pikachu, and um, in third generation it was kind of the same thing actually, except they also had that little kid, um, May's little brother. I totally forgot his name. Reminiscing about the anime, it's a great time as we take on wild trainer people, youngsters. They're kind of easy to take on, I don't know if you guys have noticed, I'm just kind of speeding through everything because they are very easy to defeat, and especially with, with speeding up, because all I do is spam Thundershock over and over. You know what, let's give Duchess a, sh a try here. Uh, maybe Duchess can actually take a couple of these out. Of course, it takes a while longer because, you know, Duchess can't really do that much. Um, how about you, Flutters? Flutters, you can do a lot, can't you? Yeah, you have Gust. I don't know why I don't use you more often. should definitely use um, Flutters more often. That guy's name was Greg. Oh, Greg. Greggy, Greg, Greg, Greggy. I don't know what you just asked me, little girl, but I do not appreciate your language to me. Also, I forgot to teach Pikachu Quick Attack, so it kind of sucks because... Oh, Agility! Oh great, I need that, um, because Ash's Pikachu has that, so what do we get rid of, Growl or Defense, okay, let's get rid of Growl, I don't really like it, uh, Nidoran Female, well, looks like we're using Gust on you, I guess I'm gonna try to alternate between Pikachu and Pidgeotto mainly, because, I don't know, Duchess, Duchess is alright, you know, it helps us out through a couple of really good situations, I'm talking about Butterfree of course, but, uh, I don't know, I think in the long run, um, Butterfree's gonna end up being kind of useless because that's just the way Butterfree's work. Hey, it's the Zubat. You kind of die in one hit. Good job, youngster Calvin. Calvin McCline. McCline or just Klein? If it's McCline, then I think it's the dude from Back to the Future. If it's Klein, then, then you're in underwear. Okay, you put me to sleep. That's not even cool, man. I'm gonna have to gust you away. Oh, great. Thank you for disabling my attack. Too bad I got rid of it. I'm just going to encounter wild Pokemon here and try to get rid of Flasting uh, Asleep on Pikachu here because that is kind of annoying to deal with. Come on, are you serious? Four turns? Okay, thank you Pikachu. Thank you for waking up after four turns. So we are on our way to Mount Moon, which uh, I'm going to assume is pretty dang similar to the way it is in the in Fire and Leaf Green because so far, oh wow, thank you for healing me. I didn't even need to beat that Spearow, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. I'm so much better without you, or something. Oh gosh, ah, wild Zubat attack, <laughs> help me. I do not remember this. What are you doing, dude? Pretty sure it's just like a random episode, like a random filler episode or something. Well, there is a random wild Zubat. I don't know why I said random, but hey, it's a random wild Wubat. Wubat's a different Pokemon completely. Zubat, dies in one hit. It's, it's all good, we saved the scientist, and also we gain experience for that, cool. Thank you so much, you saved my life. My name is Seymour the Scientist. Somebody has strung lights up on Mount Moon, causing the nocturnal Pokemon to fly out. They're after the Moonstone, I'm sure of it. The Moonstone was brought here from another planet by Clefairy. That's right, Clefairy are aliens. Please go help them. Okay, well I do remember the episode where the Clefairies did their little dance, so maybe this was just the beginning of it, and I don't remember it at all, but... Hey, here we are in Mount Moon, where we are hopefully going to be helping out some Clefairies, and oh my god. Wow, they did place lights all over this place. Well, that's interesting. I was not expecting that. I brought my electric Pokemon to light up the tunnel. That's awesome, because you have electric types, and I have nothing to take care of electric types or deal with them. Look at this. That did no damage. Okay, I'm going to go back to Pikachu. That's... I'm done. Wow, that killed you in one hit, Magnemite. That's awesome. So Flutter's learning attack, or quick attack rather, and Pikachu couldn't, so Flutter's doing what Pikachu could not. Good job charging up, boy, you died. You little Electorb, Bort, Voltorb, Vol Voltorb, yeah that's your name, Voltorb. 
Oh god, it's a Zubat. Okay, not gonna deal with those. TM09 for Psych Up. That's uh, randomly placed, I guess. A weird couple came through here demanding if I knew where the Moonstone was. Oh, I wonder who those are. Could it be the mysterious couple that have been following us throughout all our adventures and for years and years up until the most recent anime where apparently they're not as big... Um, I, I don't know, they stepped their game up apparently, but I haven't watched it that much. All I know is, um, throughout the first few episodes of black and white anime, they like, they stopped blasting off and stuff and they got their stuff together. Oh god, okay, speaking of which, okay. Prepare for trouble, Twerp. We want the Moonstone to power up our Pokemon, ready or not. Okay, I, I screwed up the voice. I know I did it okay on the uh, second episode when they invaded the Pokemon Center, but now I can't do it anymore, so I'm sorry. Anyway, this is gonna be a single battle, not a double one. I don't know why, because I have a lot of Pokemon. And usually they ended up double battling Ash anyway, even though double battles were non-existent in the first gen, technically, or whatever. But, uh, yeah, this is a single battle. That's that's what we're talking about here. Actually, they would usually do a tag battle, like Ash and Brock versus two of them, or whatever. Like, one-on-ones, but, you know, two-on-twos, or... Yeah, two on twos. Let's let's go with that. So obviously they're gonna have Ekans and Coughing, and Meowth never does anything to battle for them, except for like in two episodes I think where Meowth uses like Scratch. Oh god, my back, my back, guys, it's it's hurting right now. I don't know why. I thought I would just mention it because I didn't want to yell, but it hurt. It's time for Team Rocket to blast it off. You may have won this round, but we'll be back know what they just said okay this is there's a lot of Pokemon in here there's Paris there's Zan San Sanshru I can't say your name Sanshru I'm gonna go back to that other ladder because I have a feeling that's an optional place actually back here over by the entrance there's another little area that you can choose and there's a couple of more trainers to battle so I'm gonna do that and hopefully that goes well also I'm switching out to flutters because this Oddish is gonna kill me otherwise so thank you Oddish but no thank you Bell Sprout you're wonderful but yeah, what I was saying, um, in the first few, I guess, episodes, or, like, yeah, first few episodes of the black and white anime, I know that Team Rocket, like, got their stuff together, and they stopped blasting off and being more serious and stuff, but I think, like, halfway through, they just started being their old selves again, which was really weird, I don't know. I didn't really watch a lot of it, like I said, and this guy has a weird skin. I kind of wanted to talk to him from the side so I could see it from the side, but that was, that was a weird sprite, not skin. Yeah, that. I need a grass type, man. I know I gotta get Bulbasaur soon, but... Oh, God. Okay, I remember Pikachu. Pikachu, you can actually hit these Geodudes for some reason, so we're gonna keep hitting them. Um, someone told me that apparently, you know, that I, I highly doubt that because um, Geodudes are rock and ground type, so maybe for this game they've been changed to only rock type or something because electric moves definitely do not affect ground types, so I don't know what's been changed, to be honest. If any of you know, let me know, but this guy, yeah, I don't know, his sprite just looks weird. I guess I just haven't seen a hiker from uh, third generation in a while, but there should be a little trainer to heal me up sometime soon because I need it. I need it right now. Also, there's a Pidgey there. Don't know why. Can we please stop running into wild Pokemon, man? I wish I had some repels, but I didn't buy any, so that kind of sucks. Hey, a Nugget! That's pretty great. Do I even have any repels? I didn't really check. Um... I don't think so. It would be the- it would- be, yeah, they'd be in there, so. No, I do not have any repels. Also, I am getting annoyed of these guys, so. Oh, God. Pidgeys. Pidgeys everywhere. Okay, let's go through this one. Ugh, excuse me. Hello! I didn't know that the, uh, camera angle changed when the trainer was, like, really high up. That's weird. I had never noticed that before. I think I did notice it, but, you know, I never really put much thought into it, rather, so... Yeah, hey Sandshrew, how are you doing? I can't even hit you with Pikachu because I don't have Quick Attack. So, Flutters it is, and Flutters will hopefully take you out, which he did. Also, another Geodude, so, yeah, basically, it's a good thing that they did- Oh god, okay, well, it's a good thing Pikachu died because now I can't kill this thing. Duchess, it is up to you once again. I'm gonna sleep you. I don't want to deal with your crap. Okay, tackle, and another tackle, and another tackle. There we go, we took it out. Nice. Oh boy, we need to find a trainer to heal us or something. Star piece, hooray! Okay, well, this is a dead end, obviously, so I am going to go back to that little trainer that heals us all the way outside the Mount Moon, and we are going to be back over by the entrance or whatever, yeah. And here we are once again, this time we're going to take the right branch. I realize that they have the little trainer there. 
um, because there is no like Pokemon Center and usually in Fire Red and Leaf Green there's a Pokemon Center right before Mount Moon so this time around just a little trainer that heals you up so let's go this way oh gosh okay more more Pidgeys that's not fun rare candy yeah I want some more rare candies Okay, so I really don't know exactly which way we're supposed to go, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be a dead end. Also, this guy apparently has a new team member, so obviously not Geodude here, as Geodude just kind of was Geodude. Oh, it's Sandshrew. I should have switched out. I don't know why I didn't read that it was Sandshrew, but either way, uh, we're going to go for Flutters on this one. He used a bunch of defense curls, but hey, critical hit killed you. His name was Vlog. Why was his name Vlog? Like a V-Log. That's a weird name, dude. TM46 for a thief there, and another dead end. So yeah, we do have to go through the main hallway, the center one, where Team Rocket was, and yeah. I kind of assumed that, so I went ahead and did both of the other ones because, well, it was kind of obvious that the one with Team Rocket would be the one you have to go through. So let's head back there now and run into some more wild Pokemon because those are always fun to run into. Yep, Paris, you are fun. Every time, I swear, I want to go to run and I press the bag and it's annoying, and there we go. Finally, we made it. So go through here and apparently we have a, a river or something the current's too strong to swim i wonder if these tiles don't have any pokemon on them because if they don't then i'm definitely just going to use those to uh, navigate my way around here because i do not want any more wild pokemon to get in my way see you later Redita. and another one dies great okay a zubat that's fun i'm just going to keep one shotting all of you it's, it's not even fun anymore well it is fun you know to level up pikachu but it's not fun in the sense that uh I can one-shot every one of the Pokemon, pretty much. Um, where am I, where am I going here? I think there are wild Pokemon on these tiles here, so I'm not, actually, I guess there's not. Oh, okay, I was just, just spoke a little bit too soon there, sorry. Okay, well, there's definitely gonna be Pokemon on these here. Okay, that's just, this right here is weird. What the heck? Uh, that looks weird, I don't know why. It's just like the, the thing is overflowing into the river a little. A little water spout. It's nice up here towards the top of the mountain, isn't it? We're on top of a mountain? Holy crap. I did not realize that. I guess we are, because we've been climbing up ladders, and you know, this is like the top of the mountain, so this is where like the river is born. I guess the river is being born like right here. I've never seen like the top of a mountain where a river is born, like in real life I'm talking about, but I guess Pokemon Ash Gray makes that wish come true, even though I never wish to really see one. I just kind of mentioned that I'd never seen one. I should probably heal up Pikachu. Yeah, that would be smart. So I got a couple of potions here and another bug catcher. How are you doing, good saw? This is the top of Mount Moon. Zubat, don't come up here. I kind of noticed that when there were like a million Raditzas attacking me rather than like Zubats. Also, why are Raditzas all the way at the top of Mountain? I don't... I guess there's rats everywhere, like wild rats, but I never really thought of it that way, so... Yeah. Anyway, uh, we're going back down apparently because we made it to the top and now we're going back down and there's Clefairies there. Also, more wild Pokemon, this time another Zubat. Oh god, what are you? Paris? Seriously? Okay. Well, another hiker is in our way now, so hopefully we do make it through all the way through Mount Moon in this episode because that's kind of what I wanted to accomplish today. So let's just keep on battling all these dudes, all these Diglets and Dig- Diglets and Diglets and another Diglet. There's only two, but I mentioned that there's like five of them. I think it's a pretty cool Pokemon. Fun fact, it learns like cut and slash and other stuff like Aerial Ace. So, uh, what could be underneath Diglett? No one will ever know. Speculation is, uh, I don't, I don't know where I was going with that. Basically, imagination, let them run wild and imagine what could be under Diglett. Think about it, it learns cut and Aerial Ace and slash. So, I, I don't know, maybe like its nose is a mechanical like Swiss army knife and it can bring out knives and other things that can use aerial ace and something I don't even know. Diglett's a weird Pokemon. Eh, it's always gonna be a mystery forever. Also there's a moonstone. Do you want to take the moonstone? Yes. Did that just create a hole in the... oh okay I guess it I guess it did. Well we just stole the moonstone which is awesome. Now all the poor little Clefairies will have to go back to their planet all right, twerp, we're here for that moonstone. Hand it over. Wow, them Clefairies, man. They use a metronome and they cause a huge explosion. Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. You found the moonstone. The Clefairy must pray to it. Thank you for saving the Clefairy from Team Rocket. I've decided to live here with the Clefairy. It's been my life's dream to find the moonstone, and someday I'll travel to the stars with Clefairy. 
I, I don't know if I'm supposed to do anything here, like give them the moonstone so they can pray to it, or if they're already praying to it, or what they're doing. But uh, I am out of here. I am done with this cave. What is this? Antidote. Thank you. That will be very handy as I make my way out of Mount Moon. Okay, so that's it. And we are finally out. So, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, a like would be appreciated. Next episode, we head on to Cerulean City. See you guys then.